final part of episode 67 of the final battle of Skibbity Toilet is finally here. With the return of Cinema Man and his brand new upgrades, today we're taking a look at the entire episode 66 and 67 story to see what the heck is going on in the Skibbity battle. To fully understand episode 67, you have to take a look at 66 when we first attacked the Skibbity warehouse. All of this was happening because the battle was raging on and we had a lot of new technology. And honestly, the cameramen were sort of winning until, well, they sort of weren't. And we were pushing really hard to take their main warehouse until the Skibbity lied to us and told us that they had taken out our two Titans. At this point, the cameramen lost their minds. They lost, uh, look at this. <laughs> they said, not our Titans and they just full on frontal attack. Now, when you attack like this, it's never a good idea. The secret agent handed us a knife there. We're running to the warehouse to try to finish off the skibbities. We're trying to find a way to take out all the skibbities and we have all the lower tier cameramen to help us in this battle. We have the speaker woman, the camera woman. We have all the women and all the men of the speaker and camera alliance, but they're not that strong. They're like, they're strong, but they're nothing compared to the high level mutants. Like this is a low level mutant. The power level is really low on this guy. But of course we mind controlled this bad boy, destroyed him and TV woman saved us, which is the POV camera. And then we see all the women of the Alliance. Of course we help the speaker head up. And then we have the speaker man. And then we also have this guy who's about to blast us. And then we get saved by the elite plunger man, which is the elite cameraman, all right? So all this is happening, right? And you're probably wondering, okay, well, where are all the Titans? In 66, it lays out the groundwork for what we're about to see in epic battle. And that is episode 67. And I, and remember the Titans did that same exact handshake. That same exact handshake was done by the Titans. And at this point is when the reinforcements arrived. All of the reinforcements arrived to destroy the attack on the warehouse. At this point, we have to destroy the Skibbity but everyone knows that we won't be able to. So we all load in to this little bunker. We get in, we're all inside this, this storage container. This poor cameraman loses his head and then the TV man turns on his lights and then we have to get the heck out of here, right? Everyone knows that we get teleported to a place we've never been. We've never been here. This is the TV men's warehouse. This is their secret base. No Alliance members ever been here. And in the background, you can see the large cinema man. He even says that this is a secret. This is a secret place. No one knows about this top secret. You can see the cinema man in the background. He's like, what the heck? This is crazy. And yeah, that's how episode 66 ends to lead us into episode 67. So prepare yourself. So then we have episode 67 part one. At the same location that we just got teleported away from, you see all the cameramen. This is all the destruction we just saw. This is after the Skibbities attacked the cameramen that were attacking the warehouse. That's the warehouse they just left. And we've got a lot of brand new mutant Skibbities that are introduced in this episode. And honestly, this police, this police Skibbity gets wrecked. Just like typical police Skibbities, they always get destroyed. We even have new rocket launchers. We've never had rocket launchers before. So this is all brand new for the cameraman alliance. This guy's got a spear inside of him. And this is a brand new mutant skibbity. This guy is destructive. He shoots out toxic like gas and, and goo. And this is the upgraded mafia skibbity. All right. So now take into consideration. Now the Titans have arrived in episode 65. The Titans were badly damaged. But we went ahead and stole this skibbity saw. And bro, that is brutal. <laughs> and this guy tries using his toxic gas on him. It doesn't work. We slap him silly. And that's where we go ahead and lay down some serious, serious destruction. We blow him up and his own toxic gas hurts him. Now we've got both damaged Titans at the location that we last saw the scientist skibbity. We saw him last episode arrive in that big wave of individuals and the end of it in the in the big wave of skibbities. And now this guy is about to get the slam down by the Titans in episode 67 part two. You would you would think, but we know what happened so far. So the science of skibbity, as you know, has been upgraded throughout the countless episodes. And these guys are the most damaged 
they've ever been. Realistically, the Titans stand no chance against the scientist Dibbity with how damaged they are. In a 1v1 like this, they are, yeah, they're not looking good. As you can see, they're getting destroyed. But we do some damage to the scientist Dibbity, but he has some new upgrades. And that destroys the speaker Titans blasters. And he uses his frontal beam cannon to destroy the toxic gas. But of course, he's got another arm he can use. We chop that bad boy off with the camera titan, and it's just a straight on onslaught. Then the elite plunger man sort of saves the day, but then gets absolutely destroyed by the sound waves. And yeah, I think dudes, that is the end of elite plunger man. I think he's actually gone this time. G man, the real one returns in episode 67 part two. And you can see things are really going crazy. The cameraman lost his, his protective eyeglasses. We have to put our protective lens on. He's using the TV that he had behind the speakers to chop his whole head off. And that leads us to part three, where honestly, G-Man arriving did not get enough attention. He did a lot of damage to the Titans and he's been upgraded, returned back to his full strength. With G-Man and the Skibbity Scientist, we stand no chance with the camera Titan and the speaker Titan. There's only one thing that can save us in this moment right here. And that is, of course, the speaker man and our good old friend. What the? Holy. Oh, my. Yo. Okay. Wait a second. No. Yo, he was about to stab him in the face. Bro, wait. Okay. I thought the cinema time was going to save the day. Yo, did we? I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, God. Yo! What was that? Something big just threw a knife. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm freaking talking about. That's right, G-Man. You better run away, brother. He ran away. And look, Skibbity Scientist is very badly damaged. And this is the Cinema Titan, dudes. Upgraded Cinema Titan with the sword. Holy. No shot. Oh my God. No way. Did, did we? What? What is happening right now? We are defeating the scientist Skibbity. He has been the ultimate boss and that's the real one. That's the real scientist committee. And he's giving us a happy face. Oh my God. We have to rewatch that. That is crazy. I cannot believe what just happened. My God. Okay. G-Man returned. We already knew G-Man was not the real G-Man that was destroyed in episode 65. The scientist committee removes a protective lens. He drops his speakers to reveal the big TV that he stole from Cinema Man in episode 57. They are destroying Camera Titan. You can see he's about to chop off his head. But of course, Speaker Titan's not affected by the TV because he doesn't have an eye. He has no eyeballs. So he rips off the saw hand and then he just starts punching himself, which I think is a pretty bad thing. And then the Speaker Titan was about to stab the scientist committee, I think, and it went horrible. G-Man attacked him. Camera Titan attacked him. G-Man's laughing. The scientist committee knows that they're about to win. Our RPGs do nothing to this dude. I thought we were about to die there, but you can tell at that very moment, his face absolutely realized he is freaking doomed. He is freaking doomed. I want to know what he says in reverse here. He's got to be saying something. G-Man says nothing because he just says skibbity skibbity something, so he just leaves, but he left the scientist skibbity. All alone. Bro. Look how strong he is now. We've waited 25 episodes for the return of Cinema Man. This dude is upgraded like crazy. He's got a new chess piece. He's got a new sword. Wait, he's got a sword attachment. He's got a frontal beam blaster. He's got a crotch TV. Bruh, this guy is very strong. And he still has his... Okay, wait a minute. We got to go over this. He still has his, his spikes on the sides on the back. 
He's got shoulder TVs now. He's got TVs in the back. But wait, I just realized this. This isn't technically the Cinema Man anymore. This is just TV Man Part 2 because he doesn't have speakers. Cinema Man has speakers. TV Titan doesn't have speakers. So this upgrade that we see right here is not the Cinema Man. In the end of episode 66, when we're brought to the TV Man warehouse, you can see a lot of things in the background. And of course, we see all these TV men around here with the scientist Skibbity telling us that we're not supposed to be here. This is a secret warehouse. They're, they, like he's confused as why we're here because he's been working on the newest upgrade, which is that guy right there, TV Man version two. So we waited over 20 episodes for an upgraded TV man. G-Man got upgraded within 10 episodes because last time we saw him was episode 57, I believe, and he was not this upgraded. So he's had a lot of work done to himself. The scientist committee has lost all his upgrades at this very moment. And at this point, once he lost his TV, it was game over because he knew the cinema man or the TV man was coming through the dark portal. And yeah, at this very moment, dudes, it was pretty much game over. But quickly, look at all the new upgrades that G-Man has. This is probably G-Man's strongest form with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rocket launcher, blaster, laser things, plus his frontal thing, like his frontal orbital cannon. He's got glasses. He's even got rays on the sides of his glasses. So he's got, what, 13... 14 total cannons this is the strongest g-man's ever been and he even ran away terrified he's even got headphones to protect against the speakers and he ran away leaving scientist Kibbity alone and it was at that moment for the first time ever the cameramen have actually like won like i don't know what happens next because if we defeat scientist Kibbity here I don't know what the future for the, si the Skibbity War is. Look at this. We literally destroy him so easily. And now, who's going to upgrade G-Man? How will G-Man get his upgrades? How will there be new mutant Skibbities? Their scientist has been destroyed. So they have no one to work on new Skibbities. What the heck does the future hold? I have no idea, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I am absolutely mind blown on what the heck is going to happen next. I have no idea. This is the first time I have no idea.